How are you doing? How are you doing? Yeah, good. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. We love it when people say our name, we have to say. Everyone loves a <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, Guys, congratulations on the show. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, I have to say, I was saying this to, to your lovely co-stars. When I first got the email and it was 15 Love, I thought, it's cool, a little cute tennis show, you know, with people drinking Robinson squash, eating strawberries and cream. And it's it's not that show at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I just wanted for you. Yeah. Uh, so I just wondered for you guys how surprising it was to get the script and whether you had a kind of preconceived notion of it and how, how it surprised you as you read it. Yeah, to be fair, I was about the same. I, when I was the whole way through the auditions, I only ever got the episodes, I uh, know the, the scenes from the auditions mm -hmm. and like a sort of brief description and it was kind of ambiguous. So then by the time I was like doing the job and I was reading the episode, I was like, Jesus Christ, yeah. this is heavy <laughs> and, and like dark and complex and also very real. And mm -hmm. I was like, now I'm so much more excited to be able to to to, to be a part of telling this story and yeah. then shining light on such like a a sensitive and um, important subject. Yeah, I thought it was definitely going to be way more sports driven too. I mean, you know, there's a whole lot of sports. So if you love tennis, this is definitely the show. But also it's dramatic as hell and actually is very universal. And I think a lot mm. of people will identify with many themes and topics yeah. within the show. Oh, yeah. um, and so that was something that was really exciting for me. I'm so excited to tell the story. Yeah, we didn't. I didn't get the scripts. Yeah. I didn't get the scripts when I was auditioning. He didn't know what he was doing I the didn't entire know what time. It was about. I fed I fed him the lines <laughs> off the screen. Yeah, I still thought the lines about. <laughs> this is oh, your motivation. Figuring it out. No, so I, yeah, I never knew until the very and I was like, oh God, I hope the ending's good. And it is. Spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say as well, I was talking to Aiden just now. There's a strong mustache game going on today. Very, very oh, well, thank you. Well, 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 don't talk about that. Don't yeah. talk about that. <laughs> of course, Matthew in the middle. Just a that was, that was a weird, weird question. Um, I had a chat with another actor recently, and he was saying about when he starts the process of getting into a character, it's the shoes. The shoes are the thing that he chooses first, because if he's comfortable in his shoes, all the rest will follow. So I was just, just curious, you guys, when you get the script and everything else, what's the first thing that you do? Is it the shoes or is it the, the something to do with the character? What's the thing that kind of gets you into the character? Mm. I have to make a playlist of yeah. all the songs. Playlist. I do playlists and journey right. songs that, like, as I'm like going through my Spotify and then I hear it and I'm like you know if I'm doing a project I'm sort of like thinking about the character a lot of the time and then and I'm like oh my goodness that chimes with the scene or this like mindset and then it's just nice to sort of I like to use that to like get me in there definitely so, I think yeah. just thinking about the media that your character consumes in general is always a fun way to get into yeah. character for sure what about you oh that's a very much yeah I like that all uh, right I'm, I'm, I'm what that. tv shows are you binging <laughs> what music are you listening to oh, yeah, that's good. I mean for me I, I'm always trying to think about like what um what feels the most me in this character like what can i pull from um for me it, this was a woman who um her sexual orientation was the same as mine and but she also like you know didn't have to like write it on her forehead you know and i thought that that was something that really um, resonated with me so i was excited that i had a character that i felt like i didn't have to do too much work on but my first thing is like okay what ideals and like what is the moral compass of this character that identifies with me and even if like they're like a serial killer like there must be something that is driving them to this point and so i try to find that like commonality yeah i think yeah. I, feel, I feel like that's a lot mine was just like that he wears a backwards cap and it's specif <laughs> specified in the script that he wears a backwards cap like, and i thought he okay like, he's the kind of guy that wears a backwards cap and it says a lot yeah that says a lot about a guy backwards cap is like a strong decision oh, and um and like a and a mustache and yeah a mustache. <laughs> um but no i was i was i didn't really I didn't re really like have too much time to think. I sort of was incredibly nervous and just jumped in, and I feel like that kind of helped for the for, for Steve. Yeah. Because you know he is a bit of a bundle of nerves. I think. <laughs> yeah. I like when you've said about the playlists. I wonder if on the playlist there's a certain Encanto song on there. I'm just saying it. It might be. It might not be. I won't lie. Maybe <laughs> I did. You know, go on the treadmill, the surface <laughs> pressure a couple times. I will say when I was here last summer, I literally was at the gym and 
Um, I was on the treadmill and I looked over and a girl like waved at me and showed me that she was listening to Surface Pressure. Oh, no way. And, that has nothing to do with 15 Love, but I definitely was like, ah, I love to motivate you. <laughs> now, just as a very quick final question then, in terms of the show itself, obviously it's dealing with a lot of serious themes and stuff. How important do you think it is for, for movies and TV shows that they still highlight these things and that they're still you know, pushing the boundaries and giving audiences, you know, uh, like these shows that can that can spark debate. I mean, it's Incredibly so important it's because it's about, like, yeah. and yeah. the journey isn't over, the fight isn't over. And unfortunately, mm -hmm. I don't I don't I don't know when it will be over. Um, I think the show does a very great job. Henny is just the greatest writer and writes in such a very real nuanced way um, because these stories are, are very complicated. And I think that's what's so special about this show in particular is that it shows how how complicated these situations can be and um, the moments of internalization and reflection that it puts people in. I think a lot of people will be able to see themselves in this. So it's it's always important to continue to write stories yeah. like this. Because it's like the main form of um, media, media that people consume. And, yeah. and like, it's it's so if we can sort of like weave into everybody's heads, like these are the important things, then like, yeah. I think um, that's one of the main ways to can spark change is you know it's pulling up a mirror to everyone uh that's what tv is it's like it's showing you yourself it's versions of yourself absolutely well guys that's my time it's a pleasure talking to you all i hope the show goes really well guys. for you thank you very much you guys. <laughs> thank you guys thanks guys thank cheers thanks ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys <laughs> hey you guys <laughs> Hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys!